is Joe Scar, and thank you for being here tonight. I think most of you uh, have recognized some of the work on that reel, and these are only a few of the people who were involved in making that happen. These are some of the people from our effects team, our lighting team, um, but like I said, this is a very small portion. We have maybe three or four hundred people uh, working on some of these shots, and all of them do an amazing job every day. Um, I cannot thank them enough. Um, I am just one piece of the function, and so I am here today to talk to you about uh, talk about a variety of um, topics. We'll go through my background, look at some of the recent projects that we've done, uh, talk about thinking particles itself, uh, take a little peek at scripting and why it's so powerful, um, and then the ever important uh, teamwork aspect, uh, because to take on any of these big projects, and even many of the small projects, as many of you know, you need a committed team people who are dedicated, uh, people who have skills, and people who can work together. Uh, there's many long hours spent in the office together, and I am very, very thankful uh, to have worked with the people I have. Uh, we also want to talk about the horizon, um, what's coming up in visual effects, uh, what's coming up in the software, and, and yeah just uh, the global business. So first of all, I want to say thank you. First to you, the audience, for being here. Um, your interest makes these things happen. Uh, I want to thank Cebus uh, for creating a, an amazing set of products. Not only do they make thinking particles, but Final Render, um, Mosquito, uh, Pyrocluster, um, dozens of amazing uh, visual effects tools. I want to thank 52Moshi for helping organize and distributing this event in China. Um, it is so great to spread the word about thinking particles and visual effects in general. Um, these are the ways that we can share what we have learned here in North America with everyone uh, around the world and I also want to thank in particular uh, again the teams I have worked with and the companies I have worked for uh, working on movies is an amazing experience and to be a part of it and see everyone working so hard towards something uh, is ex extremely in inspiring and I feel very very lucky to be part of it. Um, my current team, uh, they are an amazing group at Scanline. Uh, the company itself has uh, roughly around 400 people, um, all of them very committed, uh, and very skilled, and yeah, we have some very exciting upcoming projects to release. All right, so uh, the next point is on the shoulders of giants. I I do visual effects. Um, I use TP, but 99% of what I do is because someone else before me has built these things and figured things out and made those methods available people who have shared their skills, shared their knowledge, uh, and to them I'm very thankful and grateful. Um, perspective. Today's perspective in this talk uh, is my point of view. Um, I'm not acting as the representative for any company or any software developer. Um, I love thinking particles. It's an extremely fast uh, tool for creating things. Um, but everything I say here today is my own my own opinion and my own view. Uh, 
And let's go ahead and we can uh, we can get into my background a little bit. I started using Thinking Particles way back in 2002 when it first came out. And uh, that was Thinking Particles version 1.0. And back then there was not a lot of materials about uh, how to use it or really what it, its full capability was. Uh, there were some shots that were done uh, but you had to look very close to really understand uh, anything about how it was done. Um, I was lucky enough to begin uh, working in San Francisco in 2006 at the orphanage. Um, I, I owe a little thank you to Riff Dogger for that, for getting me recruited. Um, and the orphanage was really a great experience. It was my first film experience and learning the new uh, terminology and seeing how things were done and watching the images come together. Um, it was brand new and very fresh and very exciting. Uh, and I can say it's a, it's a great line of work to be in. After that, I worked at a few other companies, um, Cafe FX, uh, Shadow Play, Uncharted Territory, Prime Focus. Um, I'm probably forgetting some. I'm sorry. Um, and then, and then I found Scanline, uh, and we'll talk about Scanline in a moment. Uh, you may also know me from a tutorial video that Goran Pavlez and I uh, created a long time ago, many years ago. Uh, this was TP4 for Production 1.0 and it was about 27 hours long and we really wanted to pack as much information into this as possible to help people understand um, just how much was possible with Thinking Particles. Thinking Particles is an incredible uh, architecture. It's an incredible tool for doing just about, yeah, most anything at least inside 3ds max <laughs> and there are so many different ways to approach things and so many different components to use um, we really wanted to share share our experience and what we had done using it on some of the movies uh, Goran and I met um, on a fantastic web forum called CG Fluids was organized also by Riff, and there we met a lot of great people, and the spirit of everyone was amazing, sharing their knowledge, and uh, it was it was a great place to talk about TP, fluid sims, uh, visual effects. Um, Goran and I then worked at Uncharted Territory along with, of course, many other great people. And that was really the first place we formed a heavy-duty Thinking Particles team. Um, it was about, I think it was about eight or nine people and doing Thinking Particles on the movie 2012. Um, all that destruction that you can see on our reels. Uh, it was really a great experience. So these are some of the other movies and shows that I have been fortunate enough to work on. Um, covers a pretty wide range. You know, up here at the top, you can see uh, some upcoming movies like Meg and Justice League, Guardians of the Galaxy, and it uh, looks like Power Rangers. Oh, there's Power Rangers right here. Um, so these are our upcoming shows at Scanline VFX, and um, very exciting stuff. So it's a great, uh, great series of effects for these shows. Again, here's a kind of a larger credits list, some of the movies I've worked on. Um, I won't bore you by reading them all, but there they are. And finally, we come to Scanline VFX. 
Scanline VFX has proven to be a powerhouse in visual effects. Um, we combined uh, early on technologies. Uh, Flowline is their in-house simulation software used for water, oceans, smoke, fire, um, dust, mud. Uh, it's an incredibly uh, diverse and capable piece of software. And we combined that with thinking particles and what we found is that using the two of them together we were able to um, deliver and create very unique systems for creating visual effects. Um, great thing about Scanline is there's so many talented people. Um, they're so dedicated to what they do. Um, there's a spirit of collaboration and um, you know everyone there is just great uh, and together we we aim to put out some of the best imagery that we can. Uh, this is an example uh, this shot on screen right now of course is from Independence Day. This involved so many people I, I can barely begin to tell you. Um, in this shot alone right now I think you can see the work of maybe uh, in total maybe a hundred and fifty people uh, maybe two hundred um, and to each one of those people from the ground floor to the top floor you know I say thank you uh, for putting together this fantastic group of uh, people dedicated to creating excellent visual effects um, and here tonight as part of this webinar um, we're going to look at one of the tools that was used to create some of this uh, which is thinking particles uh, this is another great select shot this is when we worked on uh, two episodes of Game of Thrones and uh, this particular shot you know just involves some thinking particles up here for the um, for some of the flying debris and whatnot. Uh, animation, our animation department is very creative and very solution oriented. They came up with some interesting ideas about how to make this character split in half. Um, and then in effects, we went ahead and we, we used some custom tools to cut this mesh. Um, I'll show you that custom tool later and we went ahead and did the dynamics on this so in summary you know scanline we combine flowline and thinking particles and and many other tools there are our pipeline department is fantastic at integrating things and getting all these different packages and technologies to work together and all of that and everyone's effort comes together uh, to create these images. So I was lucky um, to join Scanline after the movie 2012 and um, back when it was still a relatively small company I think I was employee number 26 and I was I was fortunate to watch the company grow over time I joined Scanline in 2010, February, um, and we were able to uh, be very creative and had a lot of freedom uh, to create things and kind of built the pipeline as we went along and then it started to grow and eventually we opened up the Vancouver office and if, for those of you who don't know, of course, there are also offices in Germany, uh, Munich and Stuttgart. Uh, uh, and of course, with any company that grows, there are a lot of challenges and um, obstacles that arise. And so it's really the spirit of people in the company and their ability to um, address and find solutions to those that make great responses and, and help us succeed in what we're trying to do. 
And then finally, of course, are the teams. And the teams make the company. Um, all of these people putting their hard, hard effort into um, solutions and quality work. So to all of them, I would like to say thank you.